Hi Capricorn. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I hope you're healthy and safe. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot, Capricorn Sun Moon Rising, Venus and Jupiter, right? See what messages are coming up for you. Reverse the rules if needed. Switch the cases. Don't force a reading on your situation, right? So, Capricorn, what do you need to hear? What messages are coming up for you? Let's start with this deck, Capricorn. Uh, okay. Yeah, I saw the fool. That's interesting. Some news tried is coming your way, possibly. Capricorn, okay. Wow. A lot of cards, a lot of cards. Let, let's take them. Destiny, amazing. Wonderful start, Capricorn. Destiny, we the fortune energy. Things are shifting for you, right? If till now you felt that uh, nothing is moving, I see the change coming in, right? This was the first card. Yeah, transformation. Can you see the major arcanas, by the way, popping out? This is the card of death. Things have changed already. This is the card of adaptation. When we see the transformation energy, the tower has already happened. The tower moment has already happened. Now you're adapting to that change. Now you're looking at the positive side of the things. When tower happens, we see everything as negative because it comes crashing over us, right? But when we come to this transformation death energy, we feel that, okay, it was not all bad. It's a shade of gray, right? So we're going to see what's that, what's, ha what's that, what's happening here, what you need to hear, everything. Oh, yeah, I think you have been through a shit lately. There was shitty, shitty uh, energy here. Do you guys have experienced some kind of heartbreak, Capricorn? Spiritual strength, nine of wands. I see you guys are coming to a realization that I'm not that weak as I thought. I'm not that broken as I thought. Three of swords, something has shattered you. And I cannot deny that. I see that something has really shattered you bad. But now you're coming to this understanding that it, 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 it wasn't that bad. It is definitely having some good in the, in the whole scenario. Something was, uh, you know, meant for you. Something has happened for you. I see the transformation probably. That's the transformation happening. That's the change in outlook happening. Spiritual strength shows me that you intuitively are able to understand that this had to happen. The tower had to fall. This, this uh, you know, very unhealthy energy had to go away. No matter how much painful it is, but it had to go away. Trust the universe, Capricorn. It had, to, oh yeah, I see a very spiritual connection. For some of you, I see this is the connection you're healing from. For the rest of you, this is in the pipeline. Right, it's about to happen. Once you heal and once you transform and you adapt to the new normal, it's in the pipeline for you. Spiritual strength, heartache. You're gaining strength from this pain, and nothing can be beautiful than that. You know, we all have to go through transformations. We all have to go through some kind of pain in our life. It, it just, it's not just once. It happens throughout our life, right? That the chapters, the karma, they just keep on happening. Only the characters change, right? And the lessons change. But this pain is actually giving you strength. Now you're able to see the good and bad. That's something commendable, right? You guys are amazing here. And I see the way you're coping up with this. My God, right? Okay. Capricorn, this is an amazing energy I'm getting for you. I know maybe right now some hard experience is going on with you or maybe in recent past you have just been through that but trust me the way you're coping up with it the universe is watching and you're going to be rewarded for that destiny is showing up wow okay capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter what's coming up for you let's see what tara has to say for you we have the nine of swords oh holy my god that's what we're talking about. Yes. Oh, Harrowfant. Okay. I see this is surrounding a very deep commitment or a contract. You felt something for this person. I see it's getting over. I think this has already happened. It's not happening right now. Uh, you freaked out. Your heart was telling you that it's not going to happen. I'm going to lose this energy. I'm going to lose this opportunity. I'm going to lose this, uh, you know, all the negative manifestation, your stress and your thoughts were just happening in the negative 
uh, spiral I'm picking up, right? The negative spiral was happening there. And you were just manifesting negative things because you were afraid of the heartbreak. And I see that what have you experienced, I see that's having some repercussion. Repercussions over your current state. That's not healthy. Don't let it take over you, right? You guys are very strong and trust me, something beautiful is going to be coming your, to your way. Universe is about to reward you with that. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords shows me that things are about to change now, right? I think you have done hard work here. You have really given your 100% here. But sometimes, you know, I'll tell you with my personal experience, I don't know. I, I just say this is my destiny, maybe. But this happens to me every time. The thing I try to manifest, the, the thing I try to, you know, give my 100% to and I really want in my life, that never happens. And I always just look up to the universe and I say, what the fuck is your problem? Why you first force me to adopt a path, walk on it, do all the shitty things that I have to do there, learn all the shitty things that I have to learn there, and then you just take it away. What the fuck is your problem? And then a few days, I just heal from it. I feel bad. I, I'm hurt. I, I cry and whatever and whatever. And then suddenly something so beautiful happens. And I again look up to the universe and I say, what the fuck is pr your problem? <laughs> if it had to be so beautiful, then why you made me go through that shit hell before? And then, then just a bleak answer from within me comes in and it tells me that you had to go through that because you have to have to enjoy and acknowledge appreciate what is coming towards you next right i know you guys are going through a shit hell right now you have been through that but now you're going to get that understanding why right i see you've shared a very deep contract with somebody that's getting over, Capricorn. The contract is not getting over, probably. The person, the connection is not getting over, probably. But the experience you had to have there, it's getting over now. The cycle is getting over. Maybe with the same person, you can experience other beautiful things now. Maybe this person is still there. I see you have loved somebody. You have taken care of this person. Ten of Cups is the family, home, love, everything. Maybe it's not an ending of a relationship. It's just the ending of a phase. And that phase was tough. I know that. Okay, let's see a specific person on your mind. It took too long, isn't it? <laughs> okay, okay. I was watching Adam's Project um, yesterday on Netflix. And uh, I don't know, there were some things in the movie that really touched me, you know. Overall, it's, it's a good movie based on time travel. But there were some things that really touched me. I remember the statement. I don't know if I'm on right. I'll just check it again and let you know. It's, it's later than you think, you know. That's, ooh, that. That, that touched I don't know, that line touched me. I don't even know I'm, I'm saying the, the line right or not. But that was something that really touched me. Okay, coming back to your reading. Capricorn, the person you're dealing with or somebody on your mind, this person is very confident about something. Probably they don't know what's, what's about to happen next. I see the outcome for them is disappointment a little bit. They're very excited to make something happen. You know something which this person... Is not aware of right and i think you are giving up on it eventually and this person is going to be very very disappointed yeah i see that i see that capricorn you know some things which this person is not aware of they're very confidently coming towards you maybe they want a relationship or they want to work with you they're just confident and happy what are they feeling let's see oh yeah they want to meet you they want to meet you they're going to they want to go on a date for some of you oh yeah okay all right, okay, okay, eight of swords, nine of wands, seven of swords. You're very conflicted about this connection, Capricorn. I I'm getting this vibe here. You guys are super conflicted about this connection coming towards you. Not because you have any problem with this person. I think you are not able to understand what you share with this person right now because what you're going through was a shit hell. Again, you know, that was, that was really uh, hurtful. 
you're going through it, right? You're stressed out because this person is not aware of it. Probably they don't know what cycles you've been through. Probably they don't know what you have been, what uh, bad experiences you've been through. They're confidently coming towards you. They want to make something happen. We're going to see what are they bringing for you. And you at heart know and you're stressed out about it because you know that it's bound to fail. Right? Maybe this person is coming with a confession, a romantic proposal, or they want to tell you something, you know, they want to propose to you in front of public or something like that. I don't know. They're bringing something for you. You're giving up on it because you need time to heal. I don't know. This is an ending because I see there, there are some chapters ending in your life right now. Probably you're not even ready for this connection. This is your personal energy. And they're going to be disappointed about something. Maybe they want to tell you that, why didn't you tell me Capricorn before? Or why didn't you share this with me? Or something like that. They want reconciliation at home. I see you feel the same for this person. You really like them. And they are also in the similar happy emotion for you. But I think they're coming up very strong with something you're not prepared for. What are they bringing for you, Chariot? They're so confident. They're so confident. Nine of Swords, yeah. I see that they don't know that you're freaked out. You both are fucking freaked out here. Three of Swords, you're mirroring each other. Capricorn, you guys are mirroring each other. This person is, I think this is different energy for both of you. You don't know about them. They don't know about you. They're also heartbroken about something. And if this is the person you're dealing with ongoing, you both really love and care for each other. For some of you, I see this person is having some friend zone energy here. But... Not really, not really. It's not that convincing right now. Why are they so freaked out? Five of swords, okay. They are stressed out because for some of you, I don't know what's happening here. It's just this person. Is, again, they know some things which you don't know. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> you know some things that they don't know and they know some things that you don't know. They know it might fail. You know it's bound to fail. And what the fuck is happening here? Let me know in the comment section, what is this situation? This is such a crazy, twisted mess. What is this nine of swords on your part? Yeah, you're holding back, you're holding back. You know that I need to control myself right now. For some of you, maybe you're building yourself back again. Maybe you're experiencing new things. Maybe you're just loving the change and you're anxious whether you're ready for this or not. Same with this person. What are you doing? Knight of Wands, okay. Oh, yeah. Now, I see that you are um, you are looking for stability. And you know that the situation is not stable right now. You can just feel it. And I see you might go to meet them. But again, you're not taking it very seriously right now. Again, it's not that you don't take each other seriously. That's not what I'm saying. I see you both have very good emotions and feelings for each other. This is how you feel for each other. But what's happening is, is messy. I see this is a good, right person. But this is not the good right time, right? I hope it makes sense to you. Oh, yeah, they're, they're also very de defensive. I see the moment this thing comes up and the moment this all starts making sense in your life, you guys are going to be defensive for some time, right? You guys are going to be defensive. They're very confused. I see they're also about to hear some news here. Okay, there's so much confusion. You want 10 of cups with this person, but you're very confused. For some of you, I see you keeping options open. For rest of you, I see that there are other people who are really investing in you and you're wondering what to do next. Why is this person three of cups? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this person really cares about you, Capricorn. This person really cares about you. I see this is partnership. On their, on their mind, I see love. I see compassion on their mind. Again, they're hoping for it. They're looking for opportunity. But things are just going south because of the outside circumstances, right? You're so confused. Why? Yeah, I think you guys are dicey about what's going to happen next. I see you both are not convinced. Though they love you, Capricorn, they love you. They are they're having far more. Okay, not. I shouldn't be saying that. Ten of cups, two of cups. Their emotions for you are deep and they're hoping for a long-term stability, a partnership. You, on the other hand, are confused about some things. Maybe you have more options and you're just keeping yourself independent of the whole scenario for some time. Holy. Okay. Capricorn, outcome. Page of Pentacles. Scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to... Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships. 
a new area of study. Okay. For some of you, I see new financial opportunities are banging your door. For some of you, I'm just getting this message that in your love front, you're healing from something of the past. And in your work front, I see a lot of new opportunities coming in. And you're wondering, is it the right time? Is it the right time to jump into a new connection? Because number one, there's already some healing happening, right? You're still not completely healed. And number two, this is going to divert your time and effort and your everything towards a new connection. Because new connections definitely need more effort. Balance. Yeah, see? Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. Amazing energy here. So let's quickly have some cards and then we're going to wind up this reading. Where is the situation heading for Capricorn? Let us see. Change in the wind. Yeah, I see something happening here. They're coming in confident. You know some things. Boom. The outcome is unexpected between the worlds. You guys are right now in that phase where things were dark and gray. Can you see how dark these things were in past? You're entering a colorful life. I don't know. It's love. Happy, happy. I don't know. It's just love. It's work life. Definitely your work life and money is definitely uh, improving, right? I don't know, frankly, about uh, the love because I see right now the situation is clumsy. It is going to be uh, better over time because I see the destiny card here. Be bold and make the first move. Again, you're anxious about something and you're holding back, Capricorn. If you're convinced that something has to happen, do it the right way. If, you, if you're convinced that this person needs to know some truth, tell them. If you're convinced that this person needs to know how you feel, tell them. Be bold and make the first move. Don't wait for them, right? And conclusions are within reach. I see you on the right. Okay, what Capricorn needs to hear? Unlikely. Yeah, Capricorn, you know this is not the right time. It's just a divine timing problem. It's up to you. It's, it's up to you. You want to drag this thing or not. But I see right now things, things are happening at a different level, different pace. And I don't know if um, right now you're ready for this. Nine of Pentacles at heart, you're independent of the situation. Okay. What do Capricorn needs to hear? We have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Talk, Capricorn. I'm just getting this very strong and loud in my head. You guys need to express yourself. You guys need to tell this person how you feel. It doesn't matter. It's in, in their favor or against them or whatever. What you feel, don't stay in this energy. This, this needs to end. This needs to stop. And I think you are coming to this energy where you are... Uh, just clearly telling somebody, you need to, right? You need to in this situation. Work appears good. Money appears good, right? Calling it your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bringing you both together. Flirt. Last but not the least, trust. Yeah, the situation is calling for you to have trust and release your ex. What do you need to release, right? So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye.